Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. Please check Iraq latest news updates. The Iraqi Private Banks League announced on Thursday that the banks banned from dealing in U.S. Dollars continue their regular operations, providing local banking services with complete freedom in the Iraqi dinar currency. The U.S. Treasury Department sanctioned 14 Iraqi banks on Wednesday, July 19, as part of a crackdown on Iran's currency transactions. In a press statement, the League clarified that these banks also retain the right to engage in international transactions using currencies other than the U.S. dollar, a confirmation that aligns with the Central Bank of Iraq's statement. It stated that the Central Bank of Iraq had not frozen the licenses of the 14 banks subject to the sanctions. The affected banks are still fully functional, carrying out tasks such as deposit acceptance, loan granting, and other essential banking services. And the Iraqi Private Banks League announced on Thursday that the banks banned from dealing in U.S. dollars continue their regular operations, providing local banking services with complete freedom in the Iraqi dinar currency. The U.S. Treasury Department sanctioned 14 Iraqi banks on Wednesday, July 19, as part of a crackdown on Iran's currency transactions. In a press statement, the League clarified that these banks also retain the right to engage in International transactions using currencies other than the U.S. dollar, a confirmation that aligns with the Central Bank of Iraq's statement. It stated that the Central Bank of Iraq had not frozen the licenses of the 14 banks subject to the sanctions. The affected banks are still fully functional, carrying out tasks such as deposit acceptance, loan granting, and other essential banking services. On Thursday, the electronic stock exchange applications witnessed a halt in displaying updates of the exchange rate of the dollar in the parallel market. Experts point out that the mobile applications that promote local exchange rates black market exchange rates do not reflect the real demand in the market, such as a real electronic auction or stock exchange, but are merely a means of media display. Earlier, experts warned against using these applications as a tool to change the direction of the market, due to its widespread and the degree of dependence of markets, traders and merchants on its presented data. Through the imaginary effect on exchange rates and the impact on the markets, the dollar exchange rates recorded high levels in recent days, until they reached levels of 157,000 dinars per $100, amid punitive measures imposed by the United States on some private banks. And the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed, on Thursday, that the federal budget law for the next three years will enter into force during the next few days, pointing out that subcommittees have been formed to monitor exchange operations. Committee member Muhammad Nuri said, in an interview with the information agency, that the budget instructions have now reached the state Shura Council, noting that the budget will be implemented within the next few days. He explained that Parliament will have an important responsibility, which is to monitor the executive performance, to follow up on the movement of funds and projects, and to work to maintain services. He pointed out that the concerned parliamentary committees will follow up on the file of contracts and owners of 
two tenths, as well as all job grades approved by the House of Representatives within the budget law. And the representative of the Al Fatah Alliance, Salem Al Anbuj, had revealed the date for the start of implementing the budget, indicating that the government would start achieving its provisions within a few days. Thanks, take care.